Remember in the last video when we were defining what it meant for the limit of the function f to exist at a? We said that the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals l if as we approach a from either side of a our y values tend towards l. Well clearly in this picture this is not true. For if I pick values closer and closer to a from the left of a, my y values are tending towards L1. If I pick values to the right of a, closer and closer to a, my y values are tending towards L2. Since these are not the same, we cannot say this statement. However, there does seem to be something of interest here because my function does have a particular behavior or intended behavior to the left of a and in a, a particular intended behavior towards the right of a. And so we do have notation and an, uh, we talk about these particular limits and they're called one-sided limits. So what we mean here is the limit as x approaches a from the left and the notation we would use is the limit as x approaches a from the left. So we put a little minus sign up in the right corner of a of f and in this case equals L1 because as I get close to a from the left my y values get close and closer to L1. Now we have notation to talk about this uh, right sided limit. So it's the limit as x approaches a from the right of f of x in this case is equal to L2 because as I get closer and closer to my x value from the right my y value gets closer and closer to L2. Alright, let's go back to that graph that we looked at before and see if we can answer a different question. So this is the one I'm going to zoom in again that we used in the last example but this time let's look at uh, the limit of my function when x is negative 5. Okay, so right here, this is the x value of interest, negative 5. Well, clearly you can see from the graph that from the left it's going one direction and from the right it's going the other. So let's just write down what's happening so that we can practice our notation. So the limit as x approaches negative 5 from the left of f is equal to, well where is it going? It is going towards negative 5. Now notice it doesn't hit negative 5, as a matter of fact f of negative 5 is negative 2. So remember the value of the function has little to do with where the function is headed. The limit as x approaches negative 5 from the right of f of x is negative 2. Now since these limits don't match we can't talk about the limit as x approaches negative 5 in general. We can only talk about it in terms of as it approaches it from the left or from the right. As a matter of fact we have a nice theorem that I will state here. So we say, oops I gotta zoom back out, zooming out, okay we say the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals L if and only if, what does that mean? The limit as x approaches a from the left of f of x equals L which also equals the limit as x approaches a from the right. In other words, my function has to be approaching the same value from both left and right as x gets closer to a in order to say that the function has a limit of L as x approaches a. So this if and only if means that if this statement is true then this one is true and if this statement is true then this one is true. So these things will happen simultaneously.